So, not too long after I posted my video on F0GX, I received a comment from this user telling me to keep an eye out for something called Arrow GPX. At first, I didn't know what I was looking into, but after searching it up, oh man, am I glad. Now, just to throw this out there, I had been wanting to talk about this game for a while, but couldn't. I really wanted to wait for the Kickstarter and the demo to go live before saying anything. And yes, this game has a Kickstarter. Link in the description below. Also, keep in mind everything shown is a game that's really in its early stages of development. It hasn't even hit pre-alpha yet, but I'll delve into that in a bit. Aero GPX is a fast and intense racing game inspired by games like F0X and F0GX, but that's not all. With its super saturated color palette and easy to play but difficult to master gameplay, it also takes a huge inspiration from games like Wave Racer 64 and Kirby's Air Ride. If you've seen my F-Zero video, you'll know I'm a huge fan of games of this fast futuristic genre. And after playing the demo, man it feels great to have a game that's ready to fill the void of F-Zero. From how this game controls with it being tight and precise to how the racing feels with it being aggressive and fast, it, it's very familiar. From playing, I can say that this game does share a similar premise and similar style of gameplay with F-Zero, but that's where the similarities stop. While there are 30 racers on a track, by the end of the race, at least one third of them are guaranteed not to see the end of it. Sometimes, that includes you. If you thought the standard F-Zero formula was aggressive, then you definitely need to try this. For a game that's not even in pre-alpha yet, the combat is so fleshed out and fun. At this point, even more than GX. I can't tell if it's because your vehicle locks on a bit to other racers, or you can just really feel the impact, or maybe both. But while combat felt like just an option in F-Zero, Arrow makes it fun. I want to fight other racers even though I don't have to. Even the CPUs get in on the action and they're programmed so well, man they are not afraid to discriminate. Another highlight of this game that separates it from its inspiration is the slipstream areas. In certain portions of the map, the track is replaced with an aerial wind tunnel that allows for full vertical movement alongside horizontal. This part feels great and totally separates it from everything in the genre. It controls so great that it's almost insane to think that no one else has done this. Not to mention that the traditional shared health to boost bar is actually separated in this game. While F-Zero had a push and pull system where you were constantly juggling if you want to risk your health to get an extra boost, this game separated the two functions, getting rid of the push and pull. Now while you don't have to worry about sacrificing one stat for another, now there's a completely different issue. Because these two stats are no longer shared, you now have to be fully aware of two bars and refill them in their respected color pads. Now while that's not that complicated, the complication comes with choosing which meter needs to be prioritized. Because this game is just way more aggressive, your health is constantly getting shredded if you play too passively, but if you're hesitant in boosting, you're also going to fall behind. So the gimmick of having to juggle your health and boost meter separately is just such a unique take on this game. And that's just the beginning of it. This game has so much tech already in it, and there's so much more coming. 30 plus unique machines and racers, all with their own artwork and backstory, banging soundtrack by an amazing composer, artwork by a monster of an artist, and more. I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to advertise this game. I just have to give credit where credit is due. This game's foundation was built from the ground up by one person who took three years to get it to this point. If that's not passion, I don't know what is. Aaron, I wish you the best of luck on this man. This project has so much heart and love and it just shows. I hope your funding goals get absolutely crushed so one day we can get a 30 player online racing mode. Fingers crossed. For you viewing this, please check out the demo that's currently live on Steam, alongside the Kickstarter. In the Kickstarter you can also find the Twitter, YouTube, and Discord for this project. So please check this game out. 
I had to give this game attention because if you know me, you know I love F-Zero and everything that's fast racing. So seeing this, I definitely just had to give it a quick shout out and definitely had to highlight it. Please play the demo, it's really fun. I had a blast playing it even though sometimes I just absolutely got smoked by the CPUs. They're really aggressive, but it's just such a nice change of pace. So for the last time, I promise, please check it out. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care.